Hello guys and uh, welcome to this new video. So we are playing against Endless Fighter a GM from uh, the USA 2422. Very challenging, of course. Exchange variation of the Slav. Uh, so he's saying he's better in the squared position than me. I'm not too scared about the fact position will be uh, calm. I'm, I'm more scared by the fact I'm... Uh, I'm a theoretical dwarf in in this uh, in this line as everywhere, and uh, often you you find yourself being slightly worse against the GM. I mean, ah, it's 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 gonna be hard. What is he trying to do? Uh, can I go bishop f5, take take? Ah, okay, let's see. It's it might be dangerous if he goes g4 then try to play against my king I mean face the truth bishop f5 pawn takes queen c2 e6 g4 looks scary I mean it looks scary of course but it looks scary for a while as well because you don't have uh, a good score for the king I mean if you long castle rook c8 is, is, is coming uh, quickly uh, at your king and if he refuses to take on f5 no, I mean, you can just take on f5, pawn takes, and castle. Then I would go e6 and knight e4. Uh, it would be a slight advantage for white. But nothing dramatical uh, for the time being. It's so hard to play chess with a theoretical knowledge. Okay. Um, we can go... Okay, let's go e6. I mean, I want to protect my pawns. So my pawns are on the light squares. This is the good news. The bad news is that my king is a bit open. Okay, knight a5. I mean, I protect my pawn and I want to land on c4. Uh, okay, I mean, if I go just knight c4... I mean, I don't really see what's the problem for me. Uh, I can't even go a6, maybe. Let's go a6 for the moment. Just to make sure he doesn't play knight b5, straightening bishop c7. And also, I want to play b5, maybe. And then bring the knight to e4. I can also play rook c8. Well, a6 is... Uh, a good move okay hook c8 and so you can play knight d1 of course but i would have the choice between queen b6 or knight c4 i think i would go queen b6 after knight d1 so for the moment it's okay. I, I have ideas of uh, rook c4 as well. b5, knight c4, queen b6. All those moves are the candidates. I think queen b6 next is uh, is really inviting. Even if I cannot play b5 then. But after queen b6, he might have ideas to bring his queen back to d1 and go knight a4, knight, a4, knight c5. Okay, I'm, I'm not too comfortable in those positions, guys. Okay, uh, so queen b6, I, I maybe just uh, just giving him a chance to land on c5. After knight e4, knight take, pawn takes, rook c1, queen... Draw. Queen c8, rook c1. I don't like the fact I'm losing the the file. He's offering me the draw. I mean, uh, I could have taken it if it was not for YouTube. But I mean, let's uh, let's play b5 and let's keep going. I don't want to let him play knight a4, so I play b5 first, making sure he's not landing on c5. And uh, keeping the pressure to no draw for endless fighter. 
No draw for endless fighter. I mean, his pieces are a bit clumsy. I mean, yeah, I feel I have an advantage. I mean, not an advantage, but I feel it's more comfortable to play for me. I cannot see a, a real clear plan uh, except queen b6, rook c6, rook c8, but it's long. Uh, it's long. Okay, let's go queen b6. So, of course, we want, we want to double on the c file. Okay, rook c6. Okay, rook c8. I mean, he's trying to to bring up pieces on the queen side, on the on the king side. Sorry, but it's not too scary for the moment. Can I take everything? Queen c6. Tread the queens. Um, yeah, he produced some good moves with this bishop on e5 now. Okay, let's go knight e4. Tread these those bishops. Okay. Let's take that one back. And then fortunately I am in troubles. Jesus, those grandmasters. They are not gems for nothing. I mean this knight is is is, is hopeless. This knight is hopeless and uh, and my king is is, is, is looking uh, He's looking bad. Uh, okay. He's threatening. Nothing for the moment. Check. Okay. My king is running away. Okay. Okay, um, now that I totally fucked up my position, what would I do? Um, Seeing that this knight is so far away, if I go queen c3, checking here, queen here. Okay, let's go queen c3. C6 now. Check. Okay, and this pawn is unstoppable. This pawn is unstoppable. Just lost the game alone. So try to give count to get counterplay with the knight coming on d3, running knight f2. Or maybe rook takes f2 here is an idea. Check. Can it be an idea? Okay, uh Rook F2, check, 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 no. Uh, I need to find something quickly. Okay, rook c1, running rook takes and uh, and the checkmate on e1. And if he takes on d3, okay, Check. I'm taking, taking. Trying to stop this pawn. Desperately trying to stop the pawn. Uh, okay. Time warning. Okay, time warning. Check. I got it. 
Okay. Okay, I need to flag this Grandmaster. We gotta Check. flag him. Check. We gotta flag him. Check. Check, 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 check. Come on, give checks. Uh, okay. Check. Okay, he has, he has S six seconds as well. Check. Oh, God. Check. Oh, we got checkmated. Checkmate. Ah, for one second. Ah, what did I do? Uh, let's go back to the start. Ah, I had to win this game. So, let's go to the mid game. Let's pass quickly the opening. So here yeah, the computer is saying G4 as, as I thought. Probably the best move. Let's go to see how the game developed. I want to see where I made the mistake. So here, as I said during the game, I wanted to land on C4. All that is pretty logical. You offer the draw. In fact, it's equal. So it was slightly better. And here, hook C6 was a mistake. So the thing is that uh, I had to recognize the danger on the king side and bring back the knight immediately. And I started to attack on the queen side. And, uh, and I put myself in danger because these pieces were coming quickly toward uh, my king and I'm slightly in danger. And so from now on, check. He just win the H pawn and, and pass the uh, and pass his pawn. Yeah, so I didn't recognize uh, quickly enough uh, the danger. Check. And uh, yeah, from here you see it's it's the problem is not my king. I mean my king is pretty safe. The problem is that it's hard to attack his king and this pawn is just running. If you don't do anything, it's just going to 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 be a queen. So I tried to find some Check. disparate counterplay with my knight coming into the attack as well. But I mean Check. I never had anything. Check. Just here, I missed Queen E3 check. But I mean, this was just uh, this was just 20 seconds each, and uh, well, I mean, uh, this was just uh, check. This was just uh, a lotto game. And here, I missed Queen E3 again, winning the game. But I mean, this is uh, this is just lotto. Check. This is not chess. I mean, few check. seconds on the clock. So I somehow found some nice uh, chances uh, with this knight c6, knight b4, knight d3. Practical chances. This was the, the good maneuver. Uh, I mean, I understood that I had to do this maneuver way, way, way earlier. And uh, yeah, here. I mean, I, I understood after after the game that I needed to bring this knight to c6 back in the game. And because it stayed too long on a5 here and not doing anything, it cannot go to c4. So I had to replace it and I recognized it uh, too, too late. Thank you for watching this video, guys. See you soon around. Bye.